mbabullshit.com. Weighted average cost of capital in three minutes. Let's say you need money to do business. This is called capital. However, where do you get this capital? You get it from either the owner's money, called equity, or you get it from borrowing from the bank or other sources, called debt. If your capital is borrowed from the bank, does this have a cost? Yes, it's the interest on your loan. So if the interest rate is 5%, then your cost of capital is also 5%. But if your capital comes from investors instead of a bank loan, does this have a cost? Yes, it's the expected return of your investors. If investors are expecting a 10% average return by investing with you, then your cost of capital is 10%. Now here comes our problem. What if part of your capital comes from the bank, borrowing at 5%, and another part of your capital comes from investors, expecting 10%? Is your cost of capital 5% like the bank loan, or 10% like the investor's expected return? Of course, it's something in between. But not exactly in between, because you might have more of one than the other. So how do we get the exact cost of capital percentage? For this, we use the WAC, or Weighted Average Cost of Capital formula. Don't worry, it's much easier than it looks. It's called a weighted average because it gives more weight or importance to either your borrowed capital or your investor's money, whichever is greater. See? These are the basics to this super simple concept. Would you like to calculate WAC the easy way and learn more about the concept? Check out my free video and also download my free WAC cheat sheet at mbabullshit.com. See you there!